<sighs> so, you enjoying movie night so far? <laughs> awesome. So, what should we watch next? Anything in particular you want to watch? A comedy or a... Hmm? Now, who could that be at this hour calling? No, 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 no. Don't get it, babe. I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. Hello? Uh, no, not speaking, but I can get them if you want. Who's calling? Oh. Okay, um, I'll let them know you're calling. Um, babe? It's, um, someone from the army? Some sort of commanding officer knew your brother? Okay. They'll be with you as soon as they can, okay? They're just coming to get the phone. There you go. I'll be in the living room if you need me, okay? How'd the call go, babe? Oh. Oh no. I... That's not a look I... think is... Oh no, baby, what happened? Come here, come here you, come here, come here, come here, let me hold you. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh. Your brother. Oh, come here, come here. Let it out, let it out. That's, it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 it's okay. No, you, you let it out. Oh, God, I'm so, so, so sorry. Come on. Let's sit on the sofa, okay? I think you need to cuddle. Oh, I'm so sorry for your losses. <sighs> yes, I know. I know. <sighs> I know, darling. I know. This is the worst news you could ever get. I know, I know, it's... It's horrible. I know it wasn't his war. I know, I know this battle had nothing to do with him. He's the one who chose to fight in this war. He signed up for the military. He knew the risks. But... You know, there, he had his reasons, didn't he? He wanted to fight to keep... Well, you and your family safe. He wanted to keep his country safe. That's why he went to sign up, isn't it? Because he was thinking of you. He wanted to play his part to keep you safe. Oh, I know, I know. I know, but it, it's so easy to say that 
these people are only in this country. Like, how can they be any risk? But it's so easy to say, how can they be any threat? But think about it, darling. Think about if there wasn't anyone to hold them back. How easy do you think it would be for them to just walk in and decide who lives and who dies because they won't listen to their way of life, yeah? And that's what your brother was thinking when he signed up for the military. He didn't want you living in a world of fear. I know, you always fear for the safety of your loved ones when they're in service. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. I know there's not a great deal I can say right now. You just need time to grieve. It doesn't feel real right now, does it? wasn't long ago we were reading letters from him, were we? <sighs> I know. I know. <sighs> oh, darling, don't think that way. Don't think like that. Don't think who's next to go. That's just creating your own misery, isn't it? Focus on what you have, not what you have to lose. Well, I mean, for what it's worth, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm certainly not going to be leaving you on your own anytime soon. <sighs> oh, darling. <sighs> I know you're going to miss him. <laughs> I am too. Your brother was a very good man. He was always there for you. He loved you very, very much, and he still does. He still does. Just because he's not, you know, on the mortal coil anymore doesn't mean he's going to stop looking after you. Think of it that way. Yeah. He'll always be with you. Right here, in your heart. Think of it that way, yeah? <laughs> oh, darling, I know. I know it hurts. I know. <laughs> I hate seeing you like this. <laughs> you have every right to be angry right now. <sighs> I understand. I understand. I know. Yes, it's, it's not fair that he... <sighs> but he knew the risks. You've got to remember this, darling. He knew that he was risking his life, fighting for his country, fighting for you and his family. I know, darling, I know. <sighs> Come here. I've got you. <sighs> Tell me some stories. Remember some of the good things that you remember about your brother? 
tell me a funny story. Like, did he ever ask a girl out and get hilariously shot down? Did he break a bone doing something stupid? Go on, t tell me something silly. <laughs> that sounds like your brother through and through. What about any silly advice he gave you? Good or not, just something silly he said to you, as you know, like, did he ever say, oh, you know, when in doubt, burn it down, you know, did, did anything like that, did he give any silly advice, or? D I'm sorry, he said, context? Why did, why did he think that was good advice? What, what was the situation? <laughs> Your brother, I swear. Always a goofball, that one, wasn't he? But hey, we're smiling, we're laughing, we're remembering good times, yeah? And that's what's going to get you through this. You've got to remember, think positively. He didn't sign up for the military for you to be unhappy and miserable, did he? He knew the risks. I wish he would have thought about himself a little bit more, but... <laughs> yeah, I did say that he was thinking about you and the rest of your family. And that's what made your brother so noble, really, isn't it? Always thinking of others, never thinking of himself. And hey, we're going to honor that memory of him, yeah? We're going to live our lives the way he would want us to. Thinking of others, helping others, not being selfish. Yeah? Oh, baby, come here. It's going to take a long time, but you're going to get through this. And your brother's always going to be looking down on you, watching over you. And he's always going to be proud of you, okay? I always respected your brother. I respect everyone in the military. <laughs> yes, I know. I know I said on numerous occasions that I hated the military, but... I meant as in I hate the fact that countries have got militaries or feel the need for a military in order to say to other countries, hey, back off, don't mess with me. But I understand that unfortunately we live in a world where it is necessary or, you know, everyone feels it's necessary to have a militant presence because you never know who's going to try and force their own beliefs on you, you know? But that doesn't mean I don't have respect for the brave people in service. I hate the fact that the military exists, yes, but I have nothing but love and respect for every service member ever.
past and present. <sighs> Do you want to get some more snacks or just sit here and cuddle for a bit? Okay, we can do that. And hey, I love you. Mm. Hey, backstage crew. It's been a while since I've done this, isn't it? <laughs> Again, I don't usually do outro stuff like this, but I thought it would be appropriate for this content. This audio hit some very personal notes for a few people, I imagine, who maybe have lost someone due to war efforts that are currently being fought. And I just wanted to take this time to say if you are in any way able to support any charities that help either soldiers who have returned home and are probably suffering things like PTSD or mobility issues due to war injuries or even charities helping the families of soldiers who didn't make it back from the battlefield Please, I ask that you help any charity that you may feel strongly enough to support. On screen are a couple of examples for America, Canada, the UK and Australia. Um, I'm very sorry that I couldn't do a lot more research into other countries, but please, if you are able to in any way, shape or form, please it would be very, very nice if you could help support charities that are doing really important work, helping people who have been injured or damaged in some way by war, um, whether that be that they've been on the front lines or they've been um, working in the military or even if they are just a member of family to someone who has been affected by battle and conflict in these wars that are getting fought even in today's world we think that war is over for the most part but war is never going to stop as long as there are humans with different points of view which is a sad reality but it is a reality that we face and I think it'd be really nice if we could try to do even just a little bit to help those affected by it. So um, I'm not asking you to give money if you aren't able to, even if you can't in any way support them yourself. Just spread the word, you know, use social media to plug these charities and hopefully gain some support for them via just showing just basic support, you know. Um, Anyway, I'm going to stop taking up time now. Thank you so very much for listening to this audio. And I hope that you're all safe and you're all well. And until next time, keep on singing everybody.